Welcome, in front of me I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max and today I'll show you how you can hardly set this device through the DFU mode. So before I get started, let's talk about a couple of different things. You will need for this uh, to use the default cable that came with the device, the braided white cable. Uh, this is the only way, as far as I can tell, that it can boot into recovery or DFU mode. If you use a normal Type-C cable that you might have lying around that didn't come with the uh, device, uh, that probably just means that isn't Apple certified with the Apple tax, uh, then the device will just not be able to boot into this mode. And uh, I'm because of that going to be using MacBook as this is the only device that has a Type-C port in it because both of the ends are Type-C. Um, typically I would be using Windows for this but my computer doesn't have a Type-C port. But obviously you can still use Windows if yours does. And now on Windows you would need to download iTunes which you can do so by going to the Microsoft Store and searching for it and then once you download it it will look something similar to what uh, the music application here looks like. When you plug in your phone it will show up uh, next to the drop down menu where you, it says music you'll have like a square with a phone inside of it and that's basically your device when it's connected and obviously once you select that you trust it. So um, on Mac side I'm gonna get there as well so you want to open up finder here click on the iPhone and it shows up right here. Now it's telling me that it's activating. Chances are that I might not be able to boot into recovery mode when the device is in the uh, setup stage of uh, but it looks like I actually might be. Let's just kind of go through this. So anyway, so on the phone to boot the device into the, uh, the DFU mode, you will need to press volume up, then volume down, and then hold power button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you want to hold volume down as well for another five seconds. And after five seconds, let go of the power button. So as you can tell, this is like a Konami cheat code that you need to put in here. So I'm going to do that right now. Volume up, volume down, power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. And there it is. So the reason you wanted to have this open is because that is the only indication that you will have uh, to know that you have succeeded in booting it into the DFU mode. As you can see, it's labeled right here. So now all you need to do is select res Restore iPhone. And this will pop up with the message Restore and Update. Now Restore means that it's going to remove all the data from it. Uh, and there is no option for you to restore without an updating uh, your device, at least through the computer. If you want to uh, just remove all the data from your device without update uh, you can do so by going on the device itself into the settings general and at the bottom you'll find erase all data and stuff like that and you can just go through a reset like so doing it through the computer no matter if you're using windows or mac you will always be forced to update because uh, apparently having your personal device doesn't mean that you have choices when you want to do certain actions so anyway i'm going to click on this i'm going to select next and agree And now I'm absolutely baffled, baffledly confused by this because I just did a reset of the phone through recovery mode and I didn't need to download the newest version of, or the iOS. Now for some reason I again need to download it. So you can see that this will take several minutes. Uh, in your case it might be shorter, it might be longer. I Yesterday I was downloading this in like several minutes, um, I think up to like five minutes. Now, nowadays it's taking up to 15 minutes uh, at, at very least. So this will be downloading for some time. And uh, I just want to point out if there is a encounter that the device leaves the DFU mode on its own from inactivity, then this will stop the download and then delete it. Though this is strictly on Mac because it's such a smart computer. On iTunes it actually works better and just continues to download it even when the device isn't connected like a, any kind of computer should um, so just wanted to point out if you're using Mac just make sure that it's going to download quick if it won't then chances are your device might leave the DFU mode and the download is stopped and deleted 
and there's nothing you can do about it, which is even more fun. But in any case, I'm gonna let it run through. Hopefully it's gonna finish up all right. And once that's completed, it will then start, at least the, once the download is completed, it's gonna start extracting it and then installing it. So I'm gonna let it go through all of that on its own and come back once it's fully finished. So see you then. And as you can see, the process is finally finished. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.